Hello there. I... <coughs> okay, that was really stupid and, and got my glasses to be foggy. So let's not do that. I'm really cold, so I'm, I'm wearing like a million layers and all that, but uh, let's not do that. Yes, hi there. Welcome to Something About Dota. I got my freaking voice back. I'm not entirely 100%, but I am healthy enough to speak to you, which is good. And uh, my nose is okay. I'm, I'm, I'm recuperating still, but I'm fine, which is good. Because I was sick this past week, I did not play Dota almost at all. And I did not cast Dota, which means I missed two casts of the Polish Dota 2 Online Championships, which suck. It was the winner's bracket, uh, the beginning of the winner's bracket. But yesterday we got to do the loser's bracket, today we'll have the finals of the winner's bracket, tomorrow the finals of the loser's bracket, and in a week on Sunday we'll have the grand finals of the competition, which is uh, coming up to be pretty nice because the, the teams are actually really good. Like, they're really de totally decent and, and we're, we're getting good games out of it, so I'm, I'm excited for that, for the grand finals to see who gets there. And... Um, and as I'm saying that, as we're finishing this tournament, there's already talks of a further tournament. And uh, my, my main problem with that is that it's going to be bigger and better. And that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Because I did say a while ago that I'm going to put Dota on a small burner on the side. Definitely not off, because I still love Dota and I still want to do as much as I can. But game design, my studies right now, and, and making games and, and working in a little bit of a different uh, priority to those things is what I said I'll do, and if I'm going to take this bigger tournament, I still don't know the scope, I have no idea the scope because it's we're just in talks of starting to do it, but it's going to be, it, he already has a couple of countries in terms of communities other than just Polish. The guy who's doing everything, Diggercore uh, from Dota Bet, Dota dotabet.net. He's doing everything, and he's already in talks with a couple of communities and a couple of um, European countries to get a much bigger tournament going, and he wants me to, to cast the entirety of it. I don't know the scope of it, and this Polish tournament, which is quite small, there was a ton of group stages to do. We've had four days every single week. We've had a couple of good hours every evening, So and now the playoffs, obviously. So it's... It's a lot, and I don't know if I can commit to that entire thing. I really want to. I, I don't want to not do, not do it, but I don't know. We'll have to see how well I can, I can commit to it, because I'm not going to do something half-assed. I'm not that kind of person. I will either go and do it, or I won't. And uh, I don't know what to tell you right now. I want to, but we'll have to see. As... I, I, I'm, I'm starting to get more and more work. Obviously, um, I'm, I'm in a vacation between semesters right now, but I'm going to start the second semester soon, and then I'm going to have a lot more work, and I, I personally just want to advance more. I want to learn more. I had so many plans for this week where I was sick right now. I had so many plans to, to work and study and, and get better at, at the craft of making games, mostly by just programming and, and doing a lot of things in Unity, which is a game engine. And I didn't do anything because I was so sick. I was just felt like crap. I was just watching things for a week. And I just didn't do nothing. I did nothing, which sucks. So, and and now I have casting. And then I, and there's also AGDQ, which is running, which we'll talk about in a sec. I'll, I'll mention it. And there's so many things that I want to do now. And I didn't even start with the Unity. And the whole, the whole purpose of it is that uh, this week... I'm going back to, to, to school. I mean, the, the, the new semester is starting, which will take more time, and obviously I'll have homework and stuff like that. And also that the Global Game Jam is coming up, and I want to be useful at the Global Game Jam. A Global Game Jam, uh, in case you don't know, is a game jam, which is global. <laughs> it, you make a game in 48 hours. Basically, you just go meet a ton of other developers and people, and everybody's just, okay, let's just make shit happen. And that's what you do. I want to be useful at that point. And I don't have a lot of skill right now. I don't, I don't do art in any way. I'm very strong in the game design. And I am decent on the side of programming. But I want to, I want to be better on the side of programming. Because I haven't never, I've never really dealt with the tool of Unity. With that game engine that we're probably going to use. So I want to get a lot stronger in that. And get a little bit of experience before I get to the Global Game Jam. 
And I did nothing this past week, which was the best week, because nothing was happening. And now there's so many things happening. So, um, I'm really not sure what'll happen looking forward. We're definitely going to finish this Polish Dota 2 Online Championships. We're going to do it. It's today, tomorrow, and next week on Sunday is the Grand Final. So make sure you tune in on that. Make sure you tune in. It's going to be awesome with me and Onan. And... Uh, I don't know, I'll have to look forward and, and see what happens and uh, what Digricor, which is the guy, the main guy from uh, Dotabet.net, what he decides to to have make happen and what I can and uh, commit to. Because I, I really don't want to do anything half-assed. I want to do it. If I, if I decide to do it, I want to do it. So uh, that's it. I'm also going to... I have to play some Dota because I haven't played Dota in a week, pretty much. I played Wraith Knight with a couple of friends when I was half-sick. But other than that, I didn't do... Nothing. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and AGDQ. In case you don't know and you live under a rock, AGDQ is awesome games done quick. It is a wonderful, wonderful marathon for charity done by the speedrunning community. It's awesome. They speedrun games for charity. This time it's the Prevent Cancer Foundation. It's a lovely initiative. It's totally awesome. And uh, f from... You know, just from games, if you like games, it's interesting. And if from a game dev perspective, it's even more interesting, because these guys break your game! These guys take a game and frickin' dismantle it, find every tiny little glitch of every tiny little crap and just break the game completely. Which is... What the hell? I mean, I, I'm, I'm baffled every single time at this... What the hell? How did that... What the sh... Bleh. And they explain it, too. So they, they do weird stuff and they explain it, which is really cool. And sometimes there's world records as well. Like, really good runs. Uh, it's it's a great community. It's a lot of fun, and you should check it out. It's at um, Speed Demos Archive SDA on Twitch TV. It's on the front page during the entire week, probably. So, just saying. And uh, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the evening for some Polish doo-doo. And I'm going to...